What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks. You see who this face is. It's the beautiful face again. I had to cook old Blood Jonathan out because he, he wanted to cut the proceeds. and Nah, man, that ain't how we do it. So here we go. We're going to come up on some real life one. Here it comes. Better stand by because it's going to get real today because the topic we're talking about is an old familiar topic that's been talked about and discussed in eight years of this administration. And we're going on these people right here. We're going to get crybabies again, and this ain't, this ain't the past video. You're going to think it's the same video. It's not. Trust me. I'm going to get crybabies, and you're, you're familiar. Obama has done nothing for black people. <laughs> oh, here we go again. You know I have to hate hearing this. You go on your Facebooks, your Twitters, or whatever. You got this little segment of black people. And like I said, well, it's, it's growing now, but you, but then you have to look at what type they are. You guys want to can't read, don't know how to spell GED stuff enough, and et cetera, et cetera. And now they're telling me, well, Obama didn't do nothing for black folks. Let me, let me tell you something, folks. Obama is the president of the United States. Obama is a politician. Obama is no better than Clinton, Bush, Reagan, Carter, Ford, Nixon. LBJ, Kennedy, and all all the other ones. He's a politician. You people need to learn how to. See. So here's the problem: you can't separate. When you go to work, what do you do? Well, when you go to work, what do you do? When you like when you go, when you go cashier, when you go get your EB card and get a, a switcher, what are you? You don't go and say I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a black guy getting a swisher. You know, you get your switch because you're an American. You have rights, that y'all tell me. But here's the problem with your logic, and here's the problem with your so quote unquote facts. See, black people, as a whole, well, as a representative group, they went. There's a there's a group, the Black Congressional Caucus. You talk to those folks, because these idiots had you voting for Obama at a 95 percent clip. And I'm probably giving. I'm probably being generous with that. At a ninety-five percent clip, what's Obama going to do? Obama has that certain segment in his pocket. He does not have to work for that segment. So is he going to really work hard to keep that segment? If you're voting in a ninety-five percent clip, I hate to say I will take advantage of this thing too. Well, if I know, all right, I got this segment. I know I I, I can you know talk to them. And I know what the deal is. So I'm going to work on the hardest segment. That's why the homos got married, remember? Remember when Obama in his two-day turnaround, he, he said that he didn't really technically agree with marriage, but he would work with them. Then Jerky Joe shot his mouth off a couple days later. Then Obama changed his sense. You want to know why? Because the gay, the gay block put money and pressure on Obama. They had stuff. They had, Obama had stuff. They had stuff that Obama wanted that we already gave him. They had votes, and they had money. So Obama had the gays. Then he went to Hispanics and so forth and so on. But now, back to you hard-headed Negroes who don't understand this process. What happened was the, the, the black congressional caucus, whatever you want to call them, these lap dogs that don't do anything. Now, every once in a while, you hear about a boy who marched across the summer bridge, and that's all he do. What happens is they, they went to Obama on the second term, uh, his second year of his second term. Now, let me repeat this for you people. His first four years out the box. First year, he got reelected, he's done. They went in the second year of his second term. By then, he's a dead, he's, 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 a, he's a lame duck. By then, he doesn't have to do much. By then, he doesn't have to do much for anybody. All he has to do is get people elected in office, try to make the make Congress Democrat, more democratically friendly, make the Supreme Court more democratic. And all, and all he has to do is pass bills, and that's it. He doesn't have to, he doesn't have to discuss nothing with anybody. But no, that's what happened. The, Demo the National uh, Congressional Black Caucus went to Obama two de two years into the second term, which which figured that out geniuses. Now a lot of people are going to get mad at me, and they're going to pair the DNC and pair the Black GOP line. It's it's what it is, the truth. Then you got this huge segment. About eighty percent of the people will tell you this. Well, I wasn't aware of that, and I didn't know. Look, no offense, your ignorance is not my problem. 
If I did the same, I, I did what any of y'all could have done. This has been on the news, this has been on the internet, this has been on news wires, it's been on the radio. You could have looked this stuff up yourself. You still could look this stuff up, but you don't want to. You know why? Because you want to. You, you just want to argue. That's all you want to do. It doesn't matter if I'm right or wrong. You just want to argue, and then you want to cry, bitch, and moan. But yet, all it, all it would have took you to do like a two minute search or a three or five minute search on the internet, uh, type in Black National Congress, whatever that is, whatever the, the caucus does, and you'll see what happens. But here's what you understand: if if if, didn't, if they didn't do anything, why have none of y'all? I'm talking about none of you. All you guys want to do is get on Facebook and say some little 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 chants, and you, you want to take the lazy ass way out of things. You don't want to do nothing, and you know for a fact the majority of you don't want jobs. What you want? You want you want to you want to bitch and moan like you care, like you give a fuck. Excuse my excuse my language, by the way. But at the same time, whenever the, the, the rubber hits the road, you're not doing anything. It's not hard to start pressing. It's not hard to you know get out there and, uh, and uh, assemble a group and say, hey, we're not taking this BS anymore. We really want jobs. We want this. But no, you don't. You want to know why? Then you're going to kick up to me. Well, I don't know how to do it. Start in your neighborhood. Start with your own friends. Start with the ones that are in the same spot as you are. Start with the ones that like you. Just wake up every day. You either play PlayStation or you play your Xbox all day. Or wake up to, or, or the chicks all they go down to the downtown to the office to find out how they can stay on welfare for the next 38 years. I have people I know that have never had a job in there as old as I am. I had a job since I was 16 years old, people. You want to know why? I'm not doing it because I'm high and mighty. Because you know what? I want things out of life. I want shit. I, want, and if I know if I want something... If you want something outside of stealing, you have to go get the brass ring. And I want the brass ring. A lot of you want the brass ring while you go to work, but you got that segment, let's call it what it is, they don't want to work. They want to sit there, they want to skate by on their uh, on their like on their on their, on their governmental programs, and then when they see you, they want to borrow money off you. Now when they come to borrow money off me, and excuse my friends that you laugh at this, I'm gonna be like, no offense. If you're getting money from the government and you're out of the money already, what the fuck makes you think you're going to give me back? You're not. And let me tell you, let me give you folks an This is off the topic here. Never loan money that you're not willing to lose. I was always taught that as a kid and now. Like I said, there's times where I knew if I lent this person money, I was going to lose it. But I was willing to lose the money because the person's situation, or I knew him personally, him or her personally. But like I said, but then, but then when they think they played you, you tell them the story. You tell the person the story, and then they found the other person was messed up. Never lend money that you're not willing to lose. Okay, back to the topic at hand. You go up to Obama, and and the poor the poor guy. I mean, I, I don't I don't agree with a lot with he with, with some of the stuff he's done. I don't agree with the homosexual thing. I don't because he, he put his um. There he goes again. Look, he's cracking on y'all. He ain't cracking on me. He knows I ain't crying. I know his moves. Y'all don't know his moves. But, but I may mean, not agree with a lot of stuff he's done, but I do agree that he's done. Like, nobody's bitching about this gas, these gas prices. Nobody's bitching about how the army kicked up. But this happens all the time. It's, it's, it's a cycle. The, the Republicans will save money by slashing, and, got, and the Democrats will build money by giving everything away. So this, this is just like a, a big circle, a big thing that nobody should be really, really shocked by, I should say. But the end of the people, the, like I said, the, mad, the, the main problem is a lot of black people want to complain, but they don't want to lace their, skin, their cleats up, and they don't want to get in the game. They want somebody to do something for them. Look, and look, and here, and here's the thing. Here's the downfall. If you guys actually got off, and I can see the government's point, because look, if you actually guys actually did something, that government will lose their job, and that's the last thing they want. Because less people on welfare and all these governmental programs means less government workers. So I can see the government why they keep a lot of you dummies on there because you, you, you dummies, and, and and it's sickening because you get the old starter pack kits coming out now on all these me on these memes, but uh, it, it's not my fault. My it, your ignorance is not my fault. It's all if you want to come away with something, come away with that. Your ignorance is not my fault. If you refuse to do the research. Don't get me get mad at me because I have done it and I can go A B C D E F and, and bring points up. And meanwhile, all you can do is call me names. That's how it usually goes, folks. 
So like I said, at the end of the day, do your research. If you don't do it, it's not shame on me. It's shame on you. So have a good one in peace. I'm out of here.